Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Yahida, of the Yahida brand. They're fully adjustable power supply with LED display. Takes 120 volts on the input right here with the included plug. And it goes DC 0 to about 15 volts and produce about 600 watts at 50 amps, which is really crazy. When you look at the form factor, it's very small. I haven't had the fan come on once, and I've been loading this thing down like crazy. This product gets excellent customer ratings, and it has a one-year warranty. Comes with a basic instruction sheet telling you how to use it. So this has adjustable voltage and current. Really, really unique. And what's cool about this is that these are extremely um, not sensitive. They're set up so that you rotate them a really long amount to get any change in voltage. And that's nice, you can be precision on the voltage. There is a constant current and constant voltage mode. I can't figure out how to get to that, but I think it does it automatically. So on the front here, there is a power switch right here, and it is lit up with a neon right there. And it comes with these two terminals and these 12 volt uh, plugs on here. As you can see, it's got 12 volt plugs included. I already have a load on here. This is a 5.6 ohm load. I've been testing the power supply out with that load and um, I've got the current adjusted way down. Now I'm going to show you I'm going to increase that current. So see how it jumped up? That's why they have this so that it's very sensitive. So right now I have it so that the voltage will go pretty high. Now I can slowly increase that current if I want. So you notice that the voltage drops as I drop down the current. It's kind of in this constant current mode. It's keeping that current at about an amp. And then if I increase it, I could have it go higher or lower depending on what I have this current set at. So let me just go all the way to the right. And then you see it went to 15 volts and now it's producing 2.7 amps. And I could go over here to the voltage adjustment and I could easily go counterclockwise. Look how many turns it takes, see? It says it starts to drop down. So it allows you to be precision. Now this thing is, this resistor is uh, heating up. So again, this thing is uh, not even concerned about that load that's on there, that, uh, you know, the wattage that's going in there, which is about 13 times 3, 20, you know, uh, watts, 13 times 2.6. It's not too concerned because this thing could handle a large amount of current. And I don't feel any warmth on this thing. It's running ice cold. So it's going to be hard to load this thing down. You don't have to almost short circuit it out. So it comes with these little terminals and the wires I showed. It also has these 50 amp copper terminals that you could put your own wire on and then you could screw these in to the screw base in there and then you could send uh, larger amounts of current. The way these are set up, these are probably good for about 20 amps of current, the ones that are included. But you've got the uh, additional connectors that they threw in to allow you to have 50 amps of current. I like the layout of this, very simple, and the, the way that this is voltage and current adjustable is pretty impressive. Um, because, you know, a lot of times these power supplies are just fixed at 12 or 13.8 volts. This goes up to 15. And this gives you a lot of control. As you can see, I'm rotating that thing a lot, to get a slight change in there. I love that. So if you have lithium um, polymer lith batteries, um, lithium phosphate, and you want to quickly charge them with a DC supply, this is perfect for that also. I marked the minus and plus on here just because I'm clumsy. I don't didn't want to connect it up wrong. But you saw, you see the reds on the plus and the minus is there. So we're going to just show another example of this. We're going to power and charge a big lithium buff polymer battery with this. Here you have a multimeter on here and uh, 12.76 volts. So the display is a little bit off. But uh, So if you're really trying to be extremely accurate, then you might want to put a multimeter on there and use this as a general display. Uh, but uh, you can see it's close enough. I mean, that's 13.64, 13.4, that's not too bad. And here I have a display showing 2.6 amps, and I have a current meter looping right there showing you 2.7 that's going to my loaded resistor. So that's that's nice. It's That's pretty accurate showing you the actual current that's going through matching the display on there which is nice. So here's a lithium phosphate polymer battery 50 amp hours and I could quickly charge it using this power supply. 
and uh, I could adjust the current on here. You can see there's 6.4 going in right there. I can quickly raise the voltage very accurately so I can very rapidly charge this battery or even a lead acid battery for that matter. It doesn't have to be a lithium phosphate polymer battery. Uh, so that's the advantage of this thing. It's so small, compact, there's a switching supply and it's got the ability to handle large amounts of current in wattage, 600 watts, and drive various things. In this case, a 50 amp hour, 12 volt lithium phosphate polymer battery. So I just wanted to demonstrate. I was loading this down as much as I could with this battery and the cooling fan just came on to protect it because this has over voltage and over current protection also which is a good thing so after testing what do I think about the the Hita brand they're fully adjustable power supply with LED display this is a really cool product it seems to be very well made and again it has a one-year warranty I'm impressed with it what it comes with how it works accuracy of it so I'm gonna give it a full five-star rating I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.